Hello everyone, John Braun with Hitman Advertising here. Today we're going to talk about remarketing to your website visitors. If you're spending any amount of time or money to get prospects to come to your website, you need to spend just a little bit more to remarket to them. If you're already going through all of this effort, time, money, you owe it to your campaign to do this one little last step that could mean a world of difference. Now, the key to win your target client, one of the big keys, is repetition. Staying in front of them multiple times, and remarketing is a great way to do that. With a remarketing campaign, you can stay in front of your website visitors for 30, 60, 90, or even more days if you choose to do so and sort of haunt them and follow them on other websites and keep your ads in front of them and keep in mind this is only targeting the people that have actually been to your website I'm going to show you examples of this in just a second it's cheap normally for the remarketing campaigns that I've seen it's in the neighborhood of 50 cents to a dollar per click, sometimes even less than 50 cents per click. But especially for what it's doing, for the fact that it's marketing back to the same people that you've already spent money or time on getting to come to your website, it's very, very well worth it and a whole lot cheaper than doing another Google AdWords campaign, again, for a brand new prospect. Maybe you might have spent $3, $4, $5, $8 for a click to get somebody to come to your website. Well, for remarketing, now you can get them to come back, usually for less than a dollar per click, and they'll see your ads all over the place. And it's really cool. Now, it's easy to use once it's set up. Now, I will say that sometimes setting it up initially can be a little bit of a task. I'm going to walk you through some on how to do that in just a second. But once it is set up, it rolls like clockwork. All you have to do is look at it and monitor it every now and then, not even as often as a regular Google AdWords campaign. And it's pretty sweet. So let me show you how a Google remarketing campaign works. Okay, now first let me show you what a Google remarketing campaign does. Basically, lately I've gone to Universal Studios website because we've thought about going to Universal Studios sometime in the near future. And now Universal Studios is doing a remarketing campaign on me because I went to their site, they cookied me, now they're following me, and they're showing me Google AdWords display ads for going back to Universal Studios and going back to their website and sort of reminding me, remarketing to me. And this is on weather.com. There are a lot, I can't really list all the different websites, but a lot of the major websites will have this uh, same type of thing. So as well, CNN.com. Uh, here we are looking at some news and I'm getting remarketing ads for uh, Zillow. We've actually been uh, shopping and kind of looking for a new home lately so I've been getting remarketing ads for Zillow maybe I looked at their app or I looked at something on Zillow well they want me to go back there so they're remarketing to me also I saw another remarketing ad toward the bottom of the same page for I guess a vitamin I can't even remember going to this site but I might have uh, just a little bit ago there was another ad for I think AT&T which recently I've switched my phone carrier at my office so all these different companies are already following you and they're following me. Well, you can do the same thing. Here's one for Amazon for something that I've recently looked at, a uh, paddle board and a water filter, I think. And uh, they're following me to get me to re remarket to me to get me to go back to their website and or to buy stuff from them. Well, you can do the same thing with your cleaning company. So let me show you how that works. Here we are in our Google AdWords campaign. Now the first thing that you need to do, and perhaps the hardest part of this, is actually setting up what they call an audience. That's really, what that means is you're cookieing or you're putting a special code inside of their website, kind of, I guess a good way to think about it, that lets uh, Google know that this these people actually were on your website. And so for those same exact people, you want to follow for a set amount of days and show ads just like the ones that we looked at here, Zillow and Universal Studios, show ads to them for the next 30, 60, 90 days, whatever you decide. I think it's up to 120 if I'm not mistaken. So the first thing that you need to do is create an audience. So go over here to Shared Library and click on Audiences. So at Audiences, you're going to click on Remarketing List and you're going to click on Website Visitors. 
You're going to put in the name of your remarketing campaign, probably the name of your website, or you can do a few different ones. Keep that in mind. But normally the name of your website, you're going to put the page that the uh, main page is of your website, and you're going to give a duration. Remember how I mentioned you can do it for 30, 60, I think up to 120 days. Normally, maybe for a cleaning company, 30 days, maybe 60 days. That's really the uh, key point that somebody's going to be still thinking about hiring you for uh, services. So put that in here and then click Save. And then you're going to have an audience set up. But here's what you need to do next is you need to click on Tag Details over here and click on Setup. And you're going to get a code that you need to copy and you need to place this code in the code of your website. Now if you're uh, not very web savvy this can be a little bit complicated you're gonna have to talk to your web designer or get a web designer to do this. Now if you're listening to this and and I'm your web designer and or I'm the person who's doing any of your SEO or anything like that I will gladly put this code back in your website for no charge. You need to derive the code. I'm not gonna go in your campaign and get it for you but if you get that code and email it to me I'll put it in for you at no charge. Now you need to make sure the big thing is you need to make sure that it's added to your web page right before the backslash body tag so it's within the body tag preferably at the end of where the body tag is actually at and if you don't know what that means it's not easy to figure out you're gonna need a web designer to do that for you now some of you that have a WordPress plugin you might have a place in your settings that's gonna automatically have a spot for that so you might look under your theme settings and look for something like that And if it says something like place code in here for uh, right in the body tag or right at the end of the body tag this might be a good thing to put in in that spot you can try that and see if that'll work and that may work fine for you but you need to get this code to be installed because this code is the thing that actually cookies them and proves to Google that these people actually went to your site this is sort of the seamless part of it that at the beginning it's a little bit hard to set up at the end after it's set up it's really really easy you know and it works like clockwork so we get that part of it set up and then we click done and then we're gonna go back into our Google AdWords campaign and we're going to create a campaign for the people that have visited our website. We're going to create our remarketing campaign. Now the thing is your ad won't start to show up until you have I think at least a hundred visitors that have been to your site so it might take a little bit of time for that to work but in the meantime you can go ahead and set up your campaign. Uh, usually what I do is I do this just on the display network only. You can do display network and search network but uh, it needs to be display network at some point. So either display network or search and display network. But in this case, we're going to click on display network only. And then we're going to call this campaign, uh, let's just call it test remarketing. And then we're going to click on the type of drive action that we want is buy on your website. So includes remarketing because that's really what we're trying to do here. And then we, the, we want to go ahead and choose our city. Now you can choose a bigger area if you want to go that route. Um, I know for me, I really probably only want to remarket back to the people that have only been to my, uh, that are in my city. The problem is if it's somebody locating to your city, they're not going to see the ad if they were out of town and coming back in. So you need to make that decision based on how your company operates and how your company works you know and, and go that route but you choose where these people are going to be so not only are have they been to my website but I want to know that these are only people that are getting this that have uh, that actually physically reside in or are searching in my city I can put in a budget probably two dollars three dollars five dollars a day whatever you want to do it doesn't have to be much so like I said normally these clicks are gonna be uh, you know less than uh, you know, way less than a dollar uh, usually even 50 cents or just depending on your city and how much competition that you've got so we're gonna click on save and continue there we're gonna do an ad group let's call this remarketing test again uh, how much do we want to uh, cost per click how much do we want to bid per click and let's go ahead and bid 55 cents per click my landing page we'll do it carpetcaretips.com and I uh, had to choose how to target your ads what we want to do here is we want to target it based on interests and remarketing now this is what you're gonna do right here is you're gonna pick and you're gonna find the remarketing list here now the one that we just showed isn't set up yet because we don't have it installed on our website you have to install it on your website and even wait a little bit before you can actually go in to create this ad so keep that in mind your uh, campaign was already created you would go ahead and click 
like for instance uh, one of my other ones that we've actually got here we would click here and choose that this way and then we would after we chose our campaign we would come down and uh, click save and continue I do not recommend that you click on let AdWords automatically find new customers for you so what that means is they're also going to place other display ads in other places at their discretion and their choosing my big thing is don't give Google AdWords that much liberty to do with your money what they want to do you set your advertising budget with what you want to do. Don't let Google AdWords choose that part of it. So I suggest that you don't click that. Uh, and then save and continue. Now here's what we're going to do is we're going to actually create the remarketing display ad. Now uh, what we, we want to do right here is click on view ad ideas. And it's already got my website put in here. And we want to choose a headline, um, cleanest carpet free no spots returning guarantee get details here you can't put click here but you can put something like get details here now you don't have to lead it to the main page of your site you can lead it to one of the sub pages if you want uh, where that special offer is or whatever that you want to do even for tracking purposes if you wanted to go that route but for this case we're just going to lead it to the main page of the site and now we're going to click on show me ideas and what this is going to do it's kind of neat actually Google's going to pull my logo and some things on my site for different ideas on my site. It's pulling some of the pictures up. It actually created kind of a neat little ad right here. And you know what? I might even just use that for this right here. If I didn't like the ad, I can click on edit and I can upload my own logo and my own picture or I can just keep the picture that it pulled off of my website. Now keep in mind what they're trying to exercise you for thinking about doing is they want to show pictures of things that were actually already on your website so in other words it's a remarketing ad it's a reminder ad of what they already saw on your website and hopefully maybe they already took a glance at these pictures them seeing it again might make them want to click on it again seeing your logo seeing one of the pictures on the site that type of thing so that's why that's a smart idea but if you want to you can upload different pictures if you want to go that route you can also review the ads because it, it, what it does is it creates it in different sizes and different formats which is pretty neat because then you don't have to go through Photoshop and create 10 different ads they're already all right there and it creates not 10 but I think like seven or eight of them so here they are they're sort of moving they're animated and uh, it's you know just kind of a really quick cute kind of ad to just throw up there and produce so we're gonna click on OK we like those and we're going to select this one and then we're going to click save and now my entire remarketing campaign is done and finished again the biggest and the hardest part about that is installing that code and getting that done and then waiting a few days to do the actual ad setup now you can go ahead and set up the ad and then add the remarketing list later if you want to go ahead and do that while you're thinking about it but keep in mind you are going to have to go back in sometime over the course of the next week or so and set that ad back up if you need help with this too you can call Google AdWords They actually have support for this by clicking on the little cog over here and calling them at this number now um, I don't know if you're very new to Google AdWords that may or may not show up for you I can't remember if that's the way they're doing it now but if you've already been spending some money with them a lot of the times you can call them in years past you couldn't call them and you were just on your own and the only thing you had to do was Google and hope that you can find some information but now they actually have some pretty good support so think about calling them for that so that's basically it I highly highly recommend if you're doing any level of internet marketing that you set this up for your cleaning website you're going to go back and get in front of the people that you've already spent that time and money on and it's well worth well well worth the 50 cents the dollar whatever you need to spend per click to remarket back to them if you have any questions or you need any help go to hitmanadvertising.com slash support or email me or just respond to the email in any one of the email newsletters I've sent or give us a call at 850-474-1110.